Elvis impersonation right here. <laughs> Our strip. Having a good time. Already logged over 20 miles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boys and girls. Finished up that 40 right there. B and I had to get that legs in, man. About three and a half hours, I think it was. Yeah, so that was good, good pace. Yeah. So it wasn't worried too much about going too crazy fast. It was literally just constant pedaling here at BWI Trail. Got the got some good legs in, three and a half, because for the Moco, not Qu Moco, <laughs> Quantico, it's gonna be about five to six hours of pedaling. So we both brought out our, our steeds. Uh, Brian hasn't changed his tires yet, so he was working out real good on this one. Already, uh, I brought this out instead of the Ripmo. It's because I don't know, I was like, Yeah, I don't feel like pedaling downhill casing stuff right at the moment. So, brought this out to also see how the fitment is. So, <clears throat> I actually raised up the stem a lot more uh, about 10 more millimeter. You can kind of see that gap right there. Uh, and then I also changed out the stems i had some carbon pieces in there already so i just put that on and then add a little cap at the top here but pretty much it's pretty much maxed out and it feels good we'll see how it feels on the trail and summertime springtime is already kicking in jesus as i'm already sneezing uh and the other part that i added on was uh the camo bash guard with a 32 tooth so that one has power like a 34 and uh, feels like a 30 is how they sell it it does add more weight but i'm really just worried about the protection because on the other bike granted this has a higher bottom bracket and it also doesn't have as much travel i've destroyed not destroyed but I really kind of chipped away here at the bottom of uh, the Ritmo. So I didn't want the same to here. I didn't want to have to worry about that. So a little bit of weight centralized. Uh, I'm not really worried about. I'm going to most likely switch over to the XTR when the light wheels come in. And that's probably just going to be it, man. I'm not going to touch too much right now on it. Uh, it feels good. We'll see how it is tomorrow uh, when I get out there. The right... Uh, what is it? Lever is on now with the correct brakes. So I'll do a full run through on the bike once I get the other set. So yeah, looking good, feeling good. Got a good uh, pump in. And uh, just wanted the legs to move around for over three hours. And we definitely got that. So happy, not exhausted. How you feeling, B? How you feeling? Uh, legs are tight, man. I'm ready to go sit down. <laughs> So he's gonna relax, so get that, some Gatorade electrolytes in. Yeah. So he's feeling better. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna call it from there, relax for the rest of the day and uh, do our thing. So probably take the kids out to the park. Although it looks like clouds are coming in, but we should be all right. <laughs> it's a nice ass day, man. 60 some odd, almost 70 degrees. Uh, felt great out here. So, all right, man, we will catch y'all on the next one. Gonna do some trail work tomorrow, and then uh, the rest of the week is just pretty much a wash, literally. So, gotta get that back to back in. All right, catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>